Channing, will this meeting help this situation? Well, you never know. Um, Skip, you, I think in a situation like this, when you're dealing with a superstar talent, you exhaust, you exhaust all the possibilities. And at some point in time, do we flip the page or do we close the book? Mm. That's the question that Greg Popovich mm. is going to have to ask himself. The book is closing. Oh, it is closed? Yeah. Okay, well, mm -hmm. well, let me go over my book. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skip, and, and, and I think from the very beginning, I thought I made myself very clear that Kawhi Leonard was going to take these comments, scathing as they were, he was going to take them personal because he's looking at it from a situation like, hold on, there have probably been times and there, in, in, in every athlete's, professional athlete's life, that he plays in a game that maybe he's less than 100%. Maybe he should not even have played or she should not have played at all, mm -hmm. but somehow they summon up the courage to go out there and gut it out. And at the end of the day, when you're out there on your stage, all the fans see is the, the team name on the front of the jersey mm -hmm. and your name on the back of the jersey. They don't care what it took for you to get to that nope. point. They just want you to go out there and be healthy. Skip, I'm in a very similar situation. When I was in Denver and Mike Shanahan first got there, Skip, I had really bad ankle problems. And he was complaining about me not practicing. I said, Mike, I'm having to shoot up two to three times just to play. And you want me to practice? Then he instituted a policy. No practice, no play. He later, if you don't practice at least by Friday, you couldn't play. But you have to understand Kawhi's point side of the story, uh, the situation, Skip. He's looking at it like, I'm hurt. They think I'm faking. But I also see what happened to little Isaiah Thomas. He lost $150 million, a team that he laid it on the line for. He gutted it up. That very team that he gutted it up for, what did they do to him, Skip? They traded him. And Isaiah Thomas will never get that $150 million payday. So Kawhi Leonard says, I'm going to err on the side of caution, and I don't care what you guys say. Hmm. But that being said, Tony Parker's 100%, mm -hmm. you know, what do you say, 100 times worse. Mm -hmm. Skip, that bothered him. Hmm. That bothered him. And give Greg Popovich, well, our staff has cleared him. you got to talk to Kawhi and his team and his medical staff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it seems everything is good to go. Mm. It can't hurt. But I don't believe it. I don't believe it's going to help. Mm. You getting this? I didn't play back way. You getting mixed minus? <laughs> I'm taking my earpiece okay. out. Thank you very much. If you guys can fix that, it's hard enough to deal with this man without hearing his voice twice yeah. in my ear at the same time. Okay, just for the record, to your point. Remember, all that was happening to Isaiah Thomas have to, happened after this had started with Kawhi. So he couldn't early on this season say, "Look what's happening to Isaiah," because it hadn't happened no, yet. No, 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 no. The injury, he saw He saw how Isaiah looked. But he hadn't seen him traded yet because this started way back when. Remember, he only played nine games this year. Yeah, but here's the thing, though, Skip. That happened in the summer. Kawhi was injured. He wasn't playing. And he saw Isaiah gutted up, and yep. he goes to he, he gets traded, and then he, does, he looks like a shell of himself just from six months earlier. Okay. So I'm going to speak strictly as a longtime San Antonio Spurs fan here. And I'm going to tell you, this whole thing comes across to me as simply pathetic on Coach Popovich's part. This is so beneath the dignity, dignity of the best organization in sports and a coach that even you call, right? Yeah. Maybe the greatest coach ever. Yeah. I mean, you've got him up there in, what, top three? Yes. And think about what's happening right now. He is groveling. He is begging. He is chasing a Kawhi Leonard who, according to the ESPN reports, has been dodging his phone calls and avoiding meeting at him, with him at any cost. Pop had to actually fly to Southern California to try to track Kawhi down and get him to sit down so they could have their first and maybe last heart to heart, face man to, to man, to say, I, I'm, I'm just assuming because there haven't been any reports about what was actually spoken, but I'm going to assume that Coach Pop said, look, I just want you to know, man to man, that I'm disappointed in how it all unfolded, but we think we did the right thing. I know you think you did the right thing, but I'm willing to forgive and forget yes. and clean the slate and clear the air and try to go forward if you're willing to do the same. I'm doubtful that Kawhi is willing to do the same. I agree. Because this whole thing flipped. Kawhi Leonard was the perfect teammate in the perfect San Antonio Spur until just before last season started when he fired his agent, who is now suing, and he chose his uncle, 
Dennis Robertson to take over all of his affairs. Remember this? Mm -hmm. So now the uncle is presiding, and I believe that the uncle, you want to talk about Dennis the Menace, (laughs) has, in my view, poisoned Kawhi's view of the Spurs. I think the uncle wants him out of San Antonio. The uncle resides in New Jersey. I don't know if he wants him on the East Coast or if he will. Obviously, Kawhi has made it public that he wants to join the Los Angeles Lakers, and he'll do it now or later. It it depends on whether you want to trade him or let him just play it out Mm -hmm. and then join as a free agent. But to me, it all comes back to that magic move of I fire my agent, I let my uncle, a former banker, take over all of my affairs, and all of a sudden he turned on the Spurs. So can I walk you back through the timeline? Because now, according to Kawhi's camp, They are trying to vilify Tony Parker and Pop in the comments they made as the last straws, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, can we put that in the context of what actually happened? I'm going to say it again. I've got the dates now. We've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. February 22nd, so around Mm midseason, the most conservative and patient medical staff in all of sports— cleared Kawhi Leonard to play with a bruised quad. They, they had some name tendinosis or something. I don't know what it was, but it was a bruised quad, and they said he is good to go. This team, as you know, is so patient with its players. You got something? Take, take time off. They will. You know, they, that's their whole reputation, their, their class, their character. They're, they're player friendly. So when they said on February 22nd, you're cleared, that's, that's a bombshell, man. And it's hard for Kawhi to argue out of that. And I know he went to so two guys I know, a surgeon and a physical therapist in New York, and he tried to get second opinions on this, but it took a whole month till March 17th until finally his teammates, his veteran teammates said, we got to find out what's going on with this guy. On March 17th, this team had a chance to finish third in the West behind, obviously, Houston and Golden State. And I thought they were perfectly positioned if Kawhi would come back 100%. Right. I thought they could make a run right. at the Western Conference because, as you know, with Kawhi, they had Golden State down 23 points in the middle of the third quarter in game one of the previous year's Western Conference Finals. They did. So they have this heart-to-heart meeting, and I guess it didn't go well. I don't know what was spoken or not spoken, but I think Kawhi Leonard said very little. So it Are took. Are you surprised by that? Mm, he never says a word. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So it took six more days until one Tony Parker, who, by the way, has four rings to Kawhi's one ring. So he's decorated, right? He's been there and done all that. And he was asked about Kawhi's injury, and he said, My injury was 100 times worse than Kawhi's. I'm good with that. You were not good with that. But, but I'm still good with it because Tony Parker ruptured his thigh muscle, his quadriceps. It tore into in a freakish accident of an injury against Memphis in last year, the previous year's playoffs. Mm-hmm. He rushed back. He missed the first 19 games. He played 55 games and played pretty poorly by his standards because he was a shell of himself on what was still a shaky thigh. Correct. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that happened on March 23rd. Then th- they keep waiting and waiting and waiting, and there's no Kawhi, and we get to game one of the playoffs, and they lose that Golden State 113-92, to 92, predictable. Mm-hmm. And after the game, Coach Popovich was asked once again for the 9,000th time, think Kawhi's going to come back before this is over? And he said, you'll have to ask Kawhi and his group. So he, th- they took that as a negative connotation of his d- dismissing his new team right. as his group. Right. Okay? And so they are holding it against Tony Parker and Coach Popovich for making negative comments about them that burned the bridge. Well, I'm here to tell you the bridge was already burned. It, it was already Kawhi quitting on the San Antonio Spurs. I, I, dis- I disagree, Skip. And, and the problem that I have with Tony Parker, okay, he has, he has four rings. How many medical degrees does he have? So he's ill-equipped to di- diagnose Kawhi. Skip, some of some well, of the, so is everybody then, right? Everybody no, 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 in the no, no, locker room. No, 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 no. The medical. Here's the thing, Skip. The, some of the greatest doctors have been stumped, profound, and well, we can't find anything. They send you this, this place, that place. Okay, Kawhi is saying I'm hurt. I got to trust him, Skip. He knows his body. Okay, I'm, I'm telling you one thing. I know for a fact, even on second opinion, yeah. no structural damage. No knee, no hip, 
No, Isaiah kind of right. career threatening. It's something musculature. It's You're something right. in the, the soft tissue. But only he can it's feel what he can feel. Bruise. Yeah. It's a bruise. Okay. He took a knee in the thigh. Mm-hmm. Shannon Sharp took God knows how many I, knees I, in the thighs. I, I, Skip, I, I'm, I'm wired a little differently. And, and it, bo- Skip, it bothered me, and it did, and it kind of stained my relationship with Mike when he thought I was faking, and I didn't Did your to... doctors back you up that you were getting shot up? Yeah, he knew it. Okay. Hell, he come in, he come in the room and see him got a, 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 a needle this long in my it, ankle. It would be that long. Yeah. Nope. So he saw it. Okay. And he, he's questioning me, why, why am I not practicing? Bruh, I'm taking two and three shots. But at and... least you had your medical team on your side, yes. I think. Right? The med- at the end of the day, the medical team worked for the staff. They work for the San Antonio Spurs. And although they want what's best for me, they're going to probably err on the side of the, of, of the team. Skip, Greg, pa- I have no problem with Popovich going down there. And, and, and Kawhi, if I said something that you feel, felt that I attacked your, 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 your character, your integrity, I apologize. Skip, apologizing doesn't mean that someone else is right or wrong. It just means that I'm, I'm willing to my friendship and my relationship with you means more to me than my pride in being right or wrong. So I have no problem with Greg Popovich. I have no pr- problem with anyone apologizing. Skip, Kawhi has earned that. He, he should have, have been a player of his status. He should have been able to earn the right to say, guys, yep. I'm hurt and not have it questioned. Okay. I'm just. 